Fala aí, Rossan. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Let me change rooms. We're good. Great. Jaime, how about you? How was your day? Um, um, today was relaxing. Okay. Why? Today you didn't work. Today was the job was easy. What happened? The job was easy. Hey, that's good, right? Yeah. Some days when the days are nice, uh huh. Some days the days very difficult, a lot of activities. Another yeah, day, uh, no problem. Uh, I still working at around um one one a.m. One a.m. Yeah. Wow. That's very late. Yes, but um, it is doesn't. Um, how how to say how to say that? Um, no, es muy común. I is not normal. It's not normal. No. Okay. And. But yeah, 1 a.m. is, is I think, is pretty late. Yeah, and I have to get up at 5, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Only four hours you sleep. Yep, four hours to, to rest. Yeah, I imagine then the next day very tired. Yeah. A lot of coffee, huh? <laughs> uh, there's so much coffee and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola, no coffee. A lot of sweet bread. <laughs> <of> sweet bread. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A lot. Because when you sleep a little, you need a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Give me just a second. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. All right. So, hey, I see we have Noe, my Maria, also connected. All right. Very good. So, before we finish today's unit, today we're going to finish unit five. The first thing we're going to do is, like Jose and Jaime, take a moment, only a few minutes, five minutes, discuss your day, what happened, what were the activities, what were the things that were going on, okay? So, we're going to make just a few moments five minutes with our partners, we discuss and then we come back. Remember, the idea is ask past tense questions, ask follow-up, did you, what did you, where did you, what, how did you, okay? Great teacher. All right, five minutes past tense and then we return.
Carla, you have problems connecting? You are very quiet. You don't say anything. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi, yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes, and sometimes I have a problem with my internet. I don't know why. Okay, let me see. Let me put you in the group and see if it works. Okay. All right. No, tell me about your partner. With Heimer teacher, excuse me. Teacher, yes. can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, my partner is Jaime. Tell me about Jaime. Yes. I may uh, my how question is uh, uh, I can see uh, they uh, play soccer the Salvador with Peru this day. Yeah, yes, teacher. I I say to know it uh, in the uh, in the question. No, did you watch uh, uh, the play uh, football soccer select versus Peru? Uh, no, it say me. Uh, no, I didn't. Yes. Okay. okay correct. Uh, in my case, uh, uh, how question Jaime? Did you go to work today? And your uh, answer uh, say uh, yes, I did work every day. Okay. Jaime said he works every day. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Because the question uh, uh, no, no, it say, say me, did you go to work today? And I the answer, yes, I did. I go to work today. Okay, great. And tell me, Jaime, what about your partner? What did he say? Well, me, teacher? Yes, tell me. Yes. Uh, Noe, Noe and Carla Marino, they, they are my parents in the group. Uh, Carla, uh, uh, she's she says uh, 
Uh, say us uh, one, one question. Oh, oh, sorry, she tell us. Uh -huh. one, one question. What did you do? The, oh, sorry, so sorry. Oh, oh, other question. Where where did you go the last the last week? Okay, the last weekend I went to visit my grandma because she is sick. She has problem with her leg, and I stayed a long time with her. I heard her, and I prepared the the lunch for her and the dinner too. And that is, I had a great time with her. Great, great. Only one word, the pronunciation, uh, visited. It, the visited is not correct with went. It's, oh, yes, I, yes, I have mistakes, teacher. No problem, Sorry. no problem, it's okay. I went to visit, good, I went yeah. to visit. Excellent, all right, okay. Rodolfo, tell me about your partners. Oh, no, I think Rodolfo didn't participate in the group, right? I think it was Maria and Jose, or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me about Jose, Maria. Uh, okay, Jose say me, then his day, it was very uh, busy because uh, he has a uh, meet when you both, and he has uh, give her boss uh, a report. So, Maria, is my boss? No. El, de el jefe de él. Uh -huh. How do you say that? How do you say that in English? El jefe de él. How do you say that? His boss? His, his, his boss, boss his because boss. it's a man, correct. Jose is a man, his boss. If it's a woman, like Maria, it's her okay. boss. Okay, good. All right, Jose, what about Maria? What did Maria tell you? Um, sorry, teacher. I, uh, why this internet signal, I can hear um, correctly. Okay, no problem. No problem. Sometimes it's the internet, it's the connection. No problem. But, right. chef, but, but me, is the, I did a different thing all day because I, I got up uh, about seven o'clock and I didn't, uh, I didn't mean my breakfast for me, my son. Uh, about 10 a.m. I pre I I I take a shower my dog. Se dice así, teacher. No, no, en ninguno lo está correcto, pero ya te voy a ayudar. Relax, it's okay, okay Maria. Continue. I take a shower my dog, and after that, I, I watched the video at class the, the yesterday, and for um. Afternoon, I, I take a rest. Okay, Maria. Thank you very much. Thank you for the effort. Maria, the number one mistake is the past tense. Okay. All of the verbs you need in the past. No, I take a rest. I took. I took a rest. I watch TV. I woke up. No, I wake up. I cooked. I prepared all of the verbs in the past tense, Maria. The idea is correct, but not the grammar. The grammar is past tense. Okay. No, it's good, Maria. Relax. No, I'm okay. Yes, excellent. Next time it's good. All right. Today we're going to finish, like I said, unit five. We're going to look at the word because. Today we're going to have the word because and why we use because. This is the important. How to use the word because is to answer the question why. We use because to explain why. Hi, are you ready to introduce a cause or a reason? Stay with us and see how the word because is used. Clauses with because. The word because introduces a cause or reason. 
I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Ready to listen to the explanation of the use of because? Because is a conjunction that can connect two independent clauses in one sentence. Let's point out that the clause starting with because can come either before or after the main clause. It is okay to say, because I'm good at writing, I would make a good journalist, or I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Now pay attention on the use of a comma in the first example. No comma is used, however, when because is in the middle of a sentence. Don't forget, the word because answers the question why. Follow the example so you may work on your own. I couldn't be a singer because I have a funny voice. I would be a good teacher because I'm patient. Now tell us why or why not you would or could be a good president, an actor or an actress. Please share your responses on our discussion box. Okay. So, because it's a very form, a very easy way to use to explain why, right? We always talk about why do you do things, why something happens. We use the word because. Today we're going to practice using because to complete the 5.13. Now, what is your reason for those situations? For example, you, you don't want to be a nurse. Why? Ah, because. You like to be a novelist. Why? Use because. Okay. So with our partners, 5.13. We're going to use the word because to complete the sentences. It's okay why we use because? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Let's try it.
Okay, you ready to check? Yes, teacher. Excellent. You're number one, you ready? Yes, teacher. All right, Carla, let me share the screen. Carla, number one. Okay, first, number one, I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals. Okay, good. Who's number two? Me, teacher. Okay. I like to be a novelist uh, because I love creative writing. Good. Pronunciation, creative. Creative. Okay. Good. Creative writing. Good. Number three. Teacher. Okay. Uh, I could never be an accountant because I'm terrible with numbers. Okay. Good. Good. Number four. Me. Mm. I. I will. I will make a bad waiter because. Um, because I have a terrible memory. All right. And the last one, number five. Teacher. Okay. I could be a fly attendant because I really enjoy traveling. All right. Very nice. Good job. Super easy. The because is to explain why. That's the function. Only the because is to explain why. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yesterday we were talking about our friends. Do you remember we were we began discussing and asking questions about our friends with adjectives and descriptions? No, no remember the idea for when we talked a little bit about our friends, let me show you, okay? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. I see some people say, no, the idea was here. 5.10, the personality traits. 5.10, here we had many different vocabularies. Those were some of the words. Here were the other. Oh, so how is your mother? How is your father? My father is very hardworking. My mother is very generous. She is the different vocabulary for personality. Today, we're going to go ahead and practice not only the personality, but in general, many questions about friendship, not only friends, but about friendship. For example, how to maintain a friendship, describing our friends, different questions, some that we had from yesterday, others that we're going to do in this moment. The ideas are for all of these questions, okay? Go ahead and take a look at the link. Yes, there are, you should have two links. There are two links for two questions, for two types of questions. The first link has many, many, many questions. And the second link, only a few questions, not a lot, but only a few. Okay. Yes, we have the two links. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, for example, I look at the questions and I ask my partner. My partner is Noe. It's not necessary to go in order. Ah, hey, Noe, what do you usually do with your friend? This is the question from the list. What do you usually do? Uh, in Noe, give me a description. If I say do, Noe has to remember do is routine. The answer in present. I usually, I sometimes, I always, I never. This is the idea for the routine. But imagine, imagine I ask Jose. Jose, eh, I ask you different questions. Eh, what, what was your best friendship? Ah, for here, no routine. Here, Jose need to answer in past tense. What was your best friendship? Um, so you have to be careful. Listen to your partner. The question in present, past, continuous, future, the, the different things. Yes? 
Okay, so use the two links. We take a few moments. The idea is practice our fluency, fluency and the correct grammar. Okay. Any questions before we begin? No, teacher. No, teacher. No? All right, let's go.
Okay. Any questions, any vocabulary or things you didn't understand? Or maybe the answer you want to say, you don't know the vocabulary? The conversation with my partner, uh, Fox, the best friend in they use vocabulary, common, common vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Common vocabulary. Any yes. vocabulary that you say, no, I, I, I don't know how to say this, or I want to say any, any vocabulary that you want or you need? No. No. Okay, all right, good. Anybody else, any questions? No? Mm. Maria? No, teacher. Okay. All right. Well, great. So that means we finished unit five. We finished the last unit. And now we have five sections for the exam. In section A in the exam, we're going to choose the correct word for vocabulary. This is of section B is a listening. We listen and choose the correct answer for our listening. See, we complete the conversation with the correct response. How do you answer? Okay. Letter D, we choose the correct vocabulary word in order to complete the sentence. Okay. And the last part, we match. Letter E, we match number one, with the answer using because, like we practiced today, four sentences, okay? So in this moment, we're going to do the listening. Before we do the listening, let's read, okay? Let's make sure it's clear. Jose Arturo, can you please read number one? Jaime Hernandez, number two. Carla Merino, number three. Juan Linares, number four. Okay, um, number one, Silvia. Has some has some old letters from for her grandmother. Hmm. Is going to go ahead all of them, all of the options. No worries. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, it's it is going to sell her old typewriter. Is happy with her laptop. Okay, thank you. Number two. Me, yes, teacher. Yes. So, according to Harry, if Marcia stays in her apartment, uh, three possible answer, first answer, she may have to make a lot of repairs to it. She'll have more time to save for a house. She won't be able to afford a big old house. Okay, good. Uh, Don't worry, we're going to listen. Three, Carla. Jim's dad likes the idea of Jimmy becoming a flight attendant. Jim's dad, the answer is likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Carla, you have to read the three options. Oh, okay, teacher, <laughs> sorry. Okay, Jim's dad, the first option is speak both French and Spanish. The second option is likes the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. And the three option is thinks Jim needs to take a vacation. Good, Carla. Only the pronunciation, idea. 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 Good. And number four? Matt is going to be a counselor at a summer camp has a lot of patience to work with kids wants to get a job at a national park good only the pronunciation patience 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 okay patience. let's listen and answer You 
Unit's 9 to 10 Quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. 1. Sylvia, can you believe that 15 years ago, not many people had personal computers? I know. I remember being so happy when my parents gave me a manual typewriter for my 18th birthday. <laughs> yeah, I had one too. It used to take forever to type something. Well, before typewriters, people used to write each other. My mother has some beautiful old handwritten letters. Those were the good old days, huh? Yes and no. Nowadays, email makes it so easy to keep in touch with family and friends. So you wouldn't want to go back to those days. No, I'm very happy with my new laptop. Hey, do you want to buy my old typewriter? I think it's still up in the attic somewhere. No, thanks. <laughs> Two. I love old houses. I like that they have a past, you know, a history of every family that lived there. But, Marcia, if you buy an old house, you may have to make a lot of repairs to it. Repairs? What kind of repairs? You might have to change the pipes and electrical wiring, or even put in a new heating system. Well, that might be true, but just think of how wonderful it would be to live in such a beautiful old place. But if you stay in your apartment for a few more years, you won't have to worry about moving. You'll have a lot more time to save money for your dream home. Three. So, Jim, have you thought any more about the kind of work you're interested in doing? Well, I've been thinking how I love traveling and... So, so do I, but that's what you do on vacation. No, Dad, I mean, I want a job that involves traveling. Oh, like uh, an airline pilot? Well, not exactly, but hey, you just gave me a good idea. I work well with other people, and I don't mind working long hours, and I'm good at French and Spanish, so maybe I could become a flight attendant. Hmm, a flight attendant. Do you think your mom and I would get to fly at a special family rate? I think so. Great. Four. Do you know yet what you're going to do this summer? Well, I think I'd make a good counselor because I really like working with children. I'm going to try to work at a summer camp. Yeah, you'd be great working with kids at a camp. That kind of job isn't for me, though. But, Mac, you like hiking and camping, and you're hardworking. But I'd hate to have the responsibility of taking care of a group of children. And I'm way too impatient to work with kids. Well, what else would you enjoy doing? I really enjoy working outdoors. I think I'm going to try to find a job working at a national park. I'd love to help park rangers take people on nature hikes and things like that. All right, so what was number one for Sylvia? She's happy with her laptop. Okay, Sylvia's happy with her laptop? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, number two. According to Harry, you will have more time to save for for a house. She will have more. Okay, number three. If Lies that... the idea of Jim becoming a flight attendant. Okay, yes. and the last one, number four. Wants to get a job at the national park. One the national park. Okay. Pretty good. Let's take a look here. Hey, very nice, very nice. All the answers correct. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No? No, teacher. Yes? What do you mean, uh, war? Number four, Mark. Number going four? To, uh -huh, it's going to be a consular. Consular okay. pronunciation. What is the function? The pronunciation, pronunciation is counselor. Counselor. Yes, counselor. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Good. Any other questions?
No? All right. Very good. Yes? No? All right. Perfect. So that is our listening. Tomorrow, we're going to finish the rest of the exam. Right now, we only have a few minutes. So with our partners, we're going to discuss what are our plans for our job tomorrow in the office, at work, in the life, personal. With our partners, only take a few moments and discuss about tomorrow. So I ask my partner, hey, what time are you going to go to work? What time do you leave your house? Hey, what do you do? What are you going to do? The idea is we're going to practice the future tenses with our partners to describe tomorrow. It's okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Jose, you okay? Can you connect? Have problems?
Okay, guys, great job for today. We finished unit five. We did the listening for the exam. Tomorrow we have the opportunity to complete the exam and then practice our speaking abilities for different topics with our partners. Okay? All right. Okay. okay. So okay tomorrow teacher. Unit, we complete the final exam. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming. Bye, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye.